Just when you thought nothing else could be made digital, magazines have made the switch. It may be a new trick for an old dog, but it's time to flip your content over with the latest in content evolution. Hello world, if it's been a little while, thanks for coming back to say hello, and if not and you recently watched one of our other helpful videos on our channel, thanks for sticking with us. As always, I am Mike Ploger and this is the VizMe YouTube channel where we aim to bring you tips, tricks, and guides for creating better visual content. Today we're giving you the full trifecta with digital magazines. Let's face it, people aren't exactly picking up magazines in the checkout aisle of their local grocery store like they used to, and you might be thinking to yourself, if numbers are dwindling with print, why would they read the same thing online? But that's the thing. Digital magazines are different than what your favorite celebrity is posing for on a cover. Whether you're using print but want to go digital, want more opportunity for clicks and lead generation, or are trying to increase your digital presence and brand awareness, creating a digital magazine has plenty of benefits. In this video, we'll dive deeper into why you should consider creating them how to do it, and provide some game-changing tips and templates along the way. Shall we? To get us started, let's consider why a digital magazine should be considered. Different from print versions, digital magazines may not be used to simply sell a product. They're used to communicate, inform, and entertain. And while digital magazines aren't exactly new, having first appeared way back in the 90s, they've changed quite a bit since their first inception. Rather than simply being words on a screen, digital magazines can immerse readers in a full experience. Which leads me to our first type, which is based entirely off of interactivity. These are the most popular and effective. Through animation, pop-ups, hyperlinks, and more, you can create immediate action from your readers. They'll be more intrigued and engaged, wanting to see more, learning as they go. Did you realize that an interactive PDF allows you to click elements of the design, then popping up more information? PDFs have come a long way from basic documents. And don't worry if those characteristics may scare you. Animation and movement may seem like an impossible task to create if you don't have the skills or background to do it, but with the help of VizMe, you can do it all and with ease. I'll hop more into that here in a little bit. But if you're still concerned about the difficulty that is an interactive PDF, then well, you do have the option of its grandfather, the static PDF. These are classic, which may be viewed as safe or boring. They're every other PDF you likely see on a daily basis. No interactivity, just words on a page. Yawn. A happy medium between interactive PDFs and static ones would be the flipbook. There's technically no interactivity, but a flipbook takes your PDF files, assuming there's multiple pages, and turns it into a digital book, so to speak, like this. As you go to the next page, the PDF appears to flip pages. It's really quite a simple addition to your magazine, but can add value for your readers. All right, let's not waste any time and hop into the 10 steps of creating your very own digital magazine. As with any big project, you'll want to plan ahead before anything else. This consists of setting a goal and clarifying what you plan on achieving with a digital magazine. To help yourself reach that answer, answer if the magazine will be monetized or not, what is the purpose of your digital magazine, whether to entertain, inform, or simply to communicate, how often will you publish a new magazine, and where do you see the magazine going in the future? Is there potential for growth here? Write down these goals and projections and even try to make a roadmap if you can. What are you going to do right now? How about a month from now or in six months and so on? But hey, look, our first digital magazine template example is here. This one was built with athletes in mind. It's modern, bold, and is easy to read or just skim. And it's available on Vizme's website right now. Next, you'll want to start considering the software you're going to use. VizMe is obviously an excellent option with the easy to implement interactivity, freedom of design, modern publishing options, and more. However, this isn't a commercial. This video is meant to help you. So we have no problem advising you to check out these options as well. Flow paper, flipping book, flip snack, lucid press, Issue or Flip HTML5 are all good options you can consider. Just don't forget about what's best for mobile viewing as well as for desktop viewing. 
Your third step should be to finalize a topic or theme for your digital magazine. What is your consumer base the most interested in? What are they engaging with the most on your social media? What questions are they asking? And what products pique their interest? Then, and this is important, create value. It is crucial to provide them with either information to learn, a product to buy on sale, or some form of entertainment. It all goes back to your purpose. But if you're not creating value, your audience won't be reading your digital magazine. Our next template idea comes with food in mind as it pretty much always is for me. Everybody loves pictures of food and they use several in this digital magazine. Whether in the forefront or background, pictures of food accompany recipes, information about the chef, and so much more. While all of your digital magazines will have an overarching theme, each issue should have its own specific topic. An easy mistake to make would be coming up with your first edition's topic and then building and publishing and then doing that all over again for each edition. What you should do is come up with several topics right from the jump. This will help you stay on your goal and maintain a steady stream of consistent content. Make sure each edition falls under the umbrella of that overarching theme, but each one provides different insight or value than the previous. Interior design revolves around trends and one of the most popular styles is modern. So the designer of this template made an interior design digital magazine that is, well, modern. It's sleek and minimal, something a lot of us want in our own homes. All right, now it is time to write. Sit down, put your writing cap on, and turn off all distractions, and let those fingers type away. Or if writing isn't your thing, you can always hire people to do that for you. Your team members may be better suited for it, or you may be able to find freelance options. Just make sure that your writing is staying true to your brand's voice and message. You'll want the magazine to flow seamlessly from article to article. Hiring editors can help with this as well. And while you'll want to consider how many articles for each magazine, don't worry about quantity more than quality. Whether you have two articles or 10, the material needs to be worth reading first and foremost. About the same time as the writing and editing is going on, you'll want to start considering the visuals that you're going to use. This includes everything from photographs to shapes and colors and various other design elements. A resource like VizMe has a database of thousands of stock photos that you can use for free and as simple as a click. They're professional quality photos that instantly make a publication look more credible. And searching through that database is a breeze, giving you countless options on exactly what it is that you're looking for. Big, bold fonts will also help you in areas where you're not sure if you need an image. Rather than using a photo, bring attention to an article by enlarging the headline or even various words throughout the text. It's a good way to change it up and keep viewers guessing. This lifestyle magazine template really gets creative with the way they use text and numbers. They still feature several photographs, but you can see differentiated text everywhere. Big, small, bold, and colorful. The designer thought outside the box with their design elements, making life easier for you when you go to visme.com and input your own information. The seventh step is to choose a template. We've teased a couple here already and we have a few more to come, but ultimately these are the biggest difference maker in the editing phase. A template will save you precious time, all while providing inspiration. Look for a layout that matches your brand's architecture, and even if a template doesn't have enough pages, you can just duplicate a page to add another. Templates should be your favorite word, as they immediately save you time while providing you with a professional look. Part of planning the visuals is considering the most important piece of your magazine, the cover. You want it to be attention grabbing. You want the title big and bold with following articles featured as sub headlines. You want the issue number and date of publication. And if you have a good logo, you probably want to add that as well. If there's a specific interviewee or product in the coming pages, slap a picture of that right on the cover and draw intrigue by using trigger words like best, big, change, find, want. You want people to feel as if they need what's coming in the following pages. Step nine is to proofread all of your content. 
This is your text and imagery to make sure everything follows the same theme and of course doesn't have any mistakes. While you'll want to proofread your own material, don't solely rely on that before publishing. Hire a professional to scan the material for you and provide any edits or feedback. And if you're not able to contact a professional, contact your family or friends and ask for their help. Writers often miss simple mistakes in their own writing, so other sets of eyes are necessary. Once that's all done, it's time for the scariest part. Publishing. Whether it's interactive, a flipbook, or a standard static digital magazine, publish it on the best space that will allow you to start a collection of editions, track visitors, and promote your work. If you're trying to generate leads, require readers to provide their email address to access it. Just make sure you're not only providing incredible value, but teasing that value very well. I've said this before on our videos, you may have an idea that'll change the world, but if you don't inspire someone to listen, you're practically worthless. And here's our last template before you go. One for fashion. The designer again let their creative mind take over using various colors, shapes, and placing text in unorthodox places. It just looks fun and interesting and is available for you to edit on visme.com, which is where you should head to right now. Seriously, at least check it out. See how easy it is to do everything that we discussed in this video compared to the other guys. You won't regret spending five more minutes on a platform that could save you hours. Thank you all so much for watching today. If we provided value for you in any way, please like this video. And if you want value tomorrow, well, subscribe to our channel. It's not long before we have more videos like this on marketing and other design topics that will put you ahead of the pack. Good luck creating your digital magazines. Feel free to share them in the comments below. With Visme, I'm Mike Ploger, helping you make information beautiful.